at a Union City high school where police say one student stabbed another in a hallway. Night Beats Katie Nielsen live in Union City after speaking with the victim's family. Katie? Veronica, I had a chance earlier tonight to speak with the victim's brother, who said he and his family do not want to be identified on camera, but told us that immediately after his brother was stabbed, he was rushed to Eden Medical Center in Castro Valley, where he immediately went into emergency surgery for those injuries. He said his brother came out of surgery around 3 o'clock this afternoon and is expected to survive. <laughs> Police cars with sirens wailing raced to James Logan High School in Union City after someone called 911 around 11 o'clock this morning to report a student stabbed another student with a knife. The school was immediately locked down as police searched for the suspect and anxious parents rushed to campus. Fear. Fear. Safety. We need the police here. We need safety. Schools are bad nowadays. But none of the students were allowed to leave due to the lockdown. It's a big school. Um, you know, like 4,000 students or so, and uh, it takes a long time to, to check the school, to check the areas where someone could be hiding, um, and make sure everyone's safe. Police say officers arrested the suspect a few hours later at a Hayward shopping center and lifted the lockdown around 1.30 this afternoon. According to students we talked with today, the stabbing happened in a hallway, and the suspect is a freshman at the school. They said the suspect did not get along with the victim or the victim's friends. I think it is a common problem, but you didn't have to pull out a knife. He could have just, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pull out a knife if I was in that situation. Police are not releasing the name of that suspect because he's a juvenile. Now, the victim's brother told me he actually graduated from here at Logan High School last year and said one of the reasons his family does not want to be identified right now is because they still don't know the motive behind the attack. Live on the Night Beat, I'm Katie Nielsen.